The sun is neither bright nor heat generating. This experiment was carried out in the Queen Amalia Tower of Greece. This is an article from 1953. The experiment circles working in Athens with metaphysic methods during the 1950s were very numerous. It was not only concerned with the exploration of the ethereal, ethereal world or the world of the fifth dimension, but also the enlightenment of various scientific problems which the positive sciences struggled in vain to solve. One such scientific circle was experimenting with a graphological psychic, a private employee, Constantinos, who despite his amazing success, was averse to publicity. This man had confessed the following to the journalist of a Bros newspaper, Alexandros Bellus. I spent time and effort working with automatic writing. The journalist also commented that although he had very enlightening announcements on various scientific problems at the time, which were actually read by many specialist scientists, no one had the courage to adopt them openly and show them to the scientific world, despite the fact that everyone they were aware of their seriousness. Everyone they were aware of their seriousness. This probably happened because in Greece we had learned to import knowledge from abroad and to question domestic knowledge. The graphological medium Cosandinos complained that in our country great importance was not attached to those supernatural announcements which would open the eyes of science. In fact, a few years before 1953, he made a series of announcements concerning our solar system. Among other things, Constantine's spiritual guide had revealed to him that in reality the sun is neither visible nor bright, but neither is it heating. It was not a mass in a fiery state. According to the spiritualist announcement, therefore, he, the emitted energy of the sun, the sun entering the Earth's atmosphere acquired the wavelengths of bright and heat-generating rays, while essentially neither light nor heat is emitted. The graphological medium, however, when he received these communications about solar radiation, asked his spiritual guide to give him experimental confirmation of his paradoxical views. He willingly gave him instructions for a simple experiment to do. The, he said, you will take a column of ice, you will make a, an internal cavity deep into it, you will place a thermometer there, and then you will expose it to the sun's rays. With this experiment, you will understand that the temperature inside the ice cave will be greater than the outside temperature of the atmosphere. Indeed, this experiment was carried out in the Tower of Queen Amalia in front of professors of the University of Athens. The thermometer, before it was inserted into the ice hole, showed 37 degrees, the temperature of the summer meridian. When it was placed in the hollow of the ice, it remained there under the influence of the sun's rays. Instead, instead of descending or even standing still, it showed a rise of temperature by one degree. Thus, it showed 38 degrees inside the ice column, while the temperature of the uh, atmosphere did not exceed 37 degrees Celsius. This experiment proved that heat is produced during the penetration of solar energy through certain substances and that the sun emits only the visible, the invisible and not the heat generating rays which entering the Earth's environment change your lengths and thus acquire new properties. At that time there were many scientists who argued that on the contrary, the sun is a dark and icy celestial body. These scientists relied on the experiments done with the V2 rockets, with which they photographed the sun from many different distances. These photographs proved that the higher we go up, that is, the closer we get to the sun, the weaker its glow appears on the photographic plate. This, of course, can only be explained if we accept that this bright day star is a dark body in fact, photos taken at 220 kilometers show the sun in pencil color. So according to the journalist, the announcement given by the spiritualist circle that the sun is neither bright nor heat generating is also based on a purely scientific basis, which had aroused the interest of some scientists and which should constitute the object of further investigations 
to clarify the mysteries of the universe. The revealing experiment carried out in the Tower of Queen Amalia in front of professors of the University of Athens caused great reflection in scientific circles. The news was published in the newspaper Embros on February 26, 1953. This is from strangepress.gr and I've translated this for you from a Greek article. This is fascinating. This is, this is really unbelievably unexplainable. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.